In this video, I'm going to do a review of this auto dunk battery box that I got from Amazon, what kind of battery I'm using with it, some of the features about the battery box and things that I like and dislike about the battery box. And if you stick around until the end, I'm going to show you one possible use for an off-grid setup using my ham radio system that I set up for portable use. Stay tuned. This is going to be an exciting video. So without further ado, let's dive right in. All right, so let's just go ahead and dive right in here. Now, when I first took this thing out of the box, I did have a little bit of an issue with one of these wing nut terminals right here. These take a 3 8 eyelet right here. I, this didn't come with it. I added this to the inverter, which I'll show you here in a second. But the uh, one of them was loose, you know, where it would move back and forth real easy. And I was like, what is going on here? So it was just easy. There was just a nut behind there that I tightened up right here. And it's been good ever since. Now, these front uh, wing nuts are unfused. I do like that they're insulated right here. That kind of keeps... Uh, any dangers down of something falling on top of there and shorting across there. Of course, if I've got something hooked up like this, and you know, that's, that's a different story. But when you're just storing the box, they are safe. And the plastic nuts behind here are insulated as well. So those are nice. Uh, but like I said, this is unfused. And you can hook anything to this that your battery will put up with. So you're limited by that, as well as the wire that's on the inside. And I'll talk about that here in just a minute. But um, I've got a small 500 watt pure sine wave inverter connected to this. And uh, this works very well. This is good for, you know, small lights or a fan or something like that. It won't run a coffee pot or anything like that. It's too much for it. If you're finding any value in this video, please subscribe to this channel. I come out with videos like this as often as I can. Right here, we have a USB-A and a USB-C adapter. Now this one is PD 3.0 and this one is QC 3.0. And this is a great thing to have in an off-grid situation. You can keep your phones charged or whatever devices you need to connect to this. Now this switch right here only affects these three items right here. It doesn't affect this, it doesn't affect the front. It's only for these three. Now one thing bad about this switch is it's only fused at 16 amps which I don't like, but you know, whatever. We have a pretty nice uh, DC voltmeter right here. Working good, it's showing 13.4 volts. Now right here, originally we had a cigarette lighter plug right here, here's the, here's the old one. And I didn't, I didn't care for that because most of my stuff is already Anderson adapted already. So I got this neat little uh, PowerWorks Anderson, you know, jack right here to put in there. And it, it works very well, but it's limited by the switch to 16 amps, so you can't connect an HF radio. All right, so moving on over here, we have two 50 amp power pole plugs right here. Now they're kind of heavy duty and awkward. You could change them out, you know, but why bother? What I did was, is I got the other piece that goes with this, and I just made a pigtail adapter for it right there to the regular Anderson style plug. And this works great, but these are fused at 30 amps, okay? This will run your HF radio, but I wouldn't really hook an inverter to this because 30 amps is not a lot. Okay, so here we are under the hood. Now we're being powered by this 50 amp hour Redodo deep cycle battery. This one is the lithium iron phosphate, so it's a pretty light battery. I believe it weighs less than 20 pounds. I got the measurements for the 100 amp hour battery and I believe it was a little bit too big for this box. So the 50 amp hour is just about the perfect size. If you can move this over to one side and you got plenty of room here and there's room over here on this side as well. So it gives you a little extra room for storage. Now if you all you have is a lead acid car battery, this will work, but you just won't get the performance out of it as you would with the deep cycle battery. You can use adapters like this to hook into your uh, terminals, and then you can hook these I terminals up under these bolts right here, and that will work. If that's all you've got, then that's all you've got. All right, so moving on here, we have our direct line to the front wing nuts, right? Remember I told you one of them was loose? Well, that was this one right here. It was just tightened this nut right here. It was not a hard fix at all. Just a little bit of something they missed. No problem. So over here, we have our 50 amp you know, jacks are Anderson jacks right here, and they are fused at 30 amps right here. 
right? So those are fused, the front are not. Over here, we have our switch. This switch is actually a breaker. It's a 16 amp breaker that can be reset and that powers these three guys right here. Now this is the Anderson plug that I replaced. Right here, I made, I put the spade terminals on this so that I wouldn't have to cut the factory terminals off. I just left it alone. Now, you might be thinking, why didn't you just build this box instead of buy this box, you know, with all this stuff done? Well, I could have made this box, okay, but I kind of added everything up, and by the time I bought every little part that's in here, there really isn't much of a price difference between buying this already done and then doing all this work myself. Plus, I would have had to do all that work to save, what, you know, 10 or $20, or who knows? It's just not worth it. That's why I just went ahead and got this one. So that's about all there is here under the hood. Let me show you my HF setup real quick, and then uh, we'll we'll be done. Do it making people happy because they can play on the radio. All right, have a grand and glorious day today, and uh, you've got a gold star. Uh, uh... All right, so a little bit of activity on 20 meters today. Now I'm picking this up through my homemade fan dipole that I've got outside. I'm going to show you some clips on that in a minute. Now I want to call this a portable station. I wouldn't call it a off-grid station, okay? Off-grid means I can sustain myself indefinitely. To make this really off-grid, I'd have to have some solar cells to keep this thing charged, and then it'll keep on going. But right now, I'm still dependent on the grid to keep it charged, so as long as we get our terminology straight. But yeah, this is working great. I'm using this. I could set this up anywhere. It doesn't really even make any difference. I could set it up on the side of the highway if I wanted to. But here's a little clip that I filmed uh, setting up my fan dipole. So I like to stretch out all three guy wires and cut them a little bit past where I think they're going to go. And I made this guy ring right here out of a water meter cap that I just happen to have laying around. And I'm drilling the hole right here to hang the antenna from. And I'm going ahead and tying the antenna up right there on the guy ring. This is a base that I made, so I had something to set it into. You'll see here in a minute where that comes into play. But this works great because it'll hold up the antenna without the guy wires being attached, you know, to give me time so somebody doesn't have to stand there and try to hold it while I'm connecting all the guy wires right there in the base. And now I'm tying off the guy wires to the nearest three heavy objects that are close by. Got half the antenna stretched out right here, and we're going to go ahead and tie it off to the nearest tree that happens to be in the vicinity. Once you get it all hooked up, I'd like to do a quick SWR check to make sure everything is working. It did take me a couple of hours to set all that up, running strings here and running strings there, but I didn't use anything more than just twine that you can get from Lowe's. There was nothing to it. It can be set up anywhere. All right, well, I hope this video has been informative and helpful for you. Thanks for watching.